So this is I'll Keep Mine, um, probably one of my favourite songs. Um, it, it's a little bit rockier, a little bit more me, um, which is quite fitting because the song was very much founded out of a place of sort of being told to maybe be less me. And it was it was good advice um, that was very much given in love. I was exploring ordained ministry. I was going to the Church of Ireland Theological College to do the foundation course as part of the selection process. and. You know, I was just advised maybe to try and blend in a little bit, um, maybe not dye my hair like a full rainbow or, you know, do all the kind of wacky things that I have been known to do. Um, but part of the, the advice that I was also given was maybe hide my scars, you know, don't be too open about my journey in case people would think that I wasn't going to be fit um, to do ministry or anything. And, you know, and I know that that advice was given in love, but it really, it, it stirred a deep conflict within me because... I don't know how to not be me. Um, this is who I am. And uh, I, I really, really struggled with not being open about my journey because my journey is my testimony. Any any ministry that I have comes out of what God has done in my life through my mental health struggles. Um, so I, this song was really me wrestling that out. And and there, there are times with where it, it becomes quite impassioned um, because I just want to encourage people, you know, to help other people be themselves and to be acceptant of themselves, you know, regardless of how broken we are, God accepts us and, and encourages us to heal him to be better, but he accepts us as we are. Um, and I think we as Christians should really try and do that too. So this is I'll Keep Playing. Tell them that 